We're going to talk about the managed configuration dialogue and a little bit more about the configuration XML, it's kind of the nuts and bolts of how the managed configuration dialogue works. So as Todd stated before, the Connect Edition updates 17 and later. With that, the managed configuration dialogue was added. So it's easier for organizations to manage different configurations. Uh, typically, we see this if you are working with multiple clients with uh, custom configurations. So if you're working with uh, DOT and another client, and then you, you have your own company standards, it's the managed configuration dialogue is very handy, very useful, along with the configuration XML we'll show you here. As a rule of thumb, just uh, the managed configuration dialog, all the changes made there are saved in the configuration.xml file. That file is going to be located in the user press folder by default, which is in your users directory, app data, local, Bentley. I'm sure many of you are familiar with that location. To make it easier to manage, if you're a CAD admin, you've added the MS configuration XML path variable. You can use that to set a different location for the configuration XML. Generally, this would be a shared location that you, you could point this to, and then you could have a quote unquote master configuration XML where all your users' machines will read. So that comes in very handy in the different environments we see. And here is the just the, the laid out version of the pathway for the configuration.xml. So for connect, since it is a separate install, it has a slightly different directory. So just keep in mind, connect is in the 10.0 folder, as you see there. And 2023, it's in the 23.0.0 folder. And you can see from the screenshots, hopefully you can see them pretty well. Uh, we're opening the configuration XML in the press folder with a text editor. And once you have it open in a text editor, such as Notepad, you can see that the different configuration blocks are visible, where you have the title, description, the configuration variable that defines it, the type. Um, if it's active, the pathway, is it selected, is it editable, so things of that nature. And we'll see on the next few slides, you can manually edit this as well. So generally, we, we don't recommend an end user to, or a general end user to edit this. This would be the, an ad administrator's job. So we'll see on the next video, just a quick overview of this. Here we look at the configuration XML file. So we go to users, my name, app data, local, Bentley, MicroStation, 23.0, prefs, and in the prefs folder is the configuration XML. We open with Notepad, and here you can see the configurations listed here, the A dot configuration, the custom configuration, and the examples configuration that we deliver are all listed in here. If you need to remove any or if you want to add any, you, they can be done as well in that configuration file. Perfect. So you saw there that you can edit it with a note, notepad, notepad++, plus plus, any text editor or any XML editor. We'll see another video here. Just going into more detail about managing the configuration XML with that variable MS configuration XML path. You can relocate the configuration XML file. Generally, you would move it to a shared location so it can be more easily be controlled by a CAD admin or a CAD manager. So we're going to add a variable here in this configuration setup file. It's located in this directory by default in the program data. We're going to open it with Notepad, and we're going to add a variable definition here. This is where we'd recommend to put it, or put this variable definition. So the variable is ms underscore configuration XML underscore path, and then we're going to set it equal to the new directory where we want to place the moved configuration XML. So let's go ahead and just grab that directory. So we put it in this D drive here. So we'll copy this directory. And I forgot to mention that we copied and pasted this new configuration XML from the press folder. So be sure to do that, but this will serve as our master configuration XML file. So we'll copy that, that pathway, paste it in the variable definition, and then be sure to add a backslash there 
so it reads the whole directory. Save this file and then close it. And now let's open MicroStation. And now we're going to add a new configuration to that configuration XML just to test it and make sure it works. So go to the Manage Configuration dialog. We're going to add a new one from our new client. So a new configuration. Shared drive. We're going to browse for the configuration folder. So typically be supplied by your client or set up by your CAD admin. Press OK. Looks like it's added. So we'll close MicroStation here and then we'll check the moved configuration XML file. Be sure that those changes were added. Yep, looks like it's here. The new client workspace or new client configuration is added. And there's the pathway, so it looks good. So theoretically, this could be used to uh, on multiple users, machines at once, if it's controlled in the shared location. We'll also just check the original press folder where the configuration XML is originally located, just to be sure it didn't regenerate, and looks like it did not, so that's good. So we've successfully moved the configuration XML. And I just wanted to point out as well that you don't necessarily have to define that variable in that configuration setup config file. You can really define it anywhere, but that we just recommend the configuration setup.cfg to define that because it's a higher tier configuration file. So just keep that in mind. It might defer depending on your environment. So thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with others. If you want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to this and Bentley's other channels. Thank you and see you next time.